plays defense, rebound, he does it all. Huskies, who only turned the ball over 10 times last time out, New Year's Eve against Idaho State, and that's their second best game of the season. Only had eight against Pitt, but a couple of quick ones here, putting the ball back in the Cougars' hands. Rochester out of Santa Barbara, California, transferred from Tulane, gave up his scholarship this year so that Tony Bennett could build for the future. This is a very experienced lineup, low catching and shooting and missing Derek Lowe. 13 to 25 from the floor his last two games after going 8 of 29 the previous four. Picks up Morris. And he could be a streak shooter too. He hits one, you got to watch out. Inside looking for Brockman was Morris. The pass tipped away, and here comes Rochester in transition. Cougars, unlike it was under Tony's dad, Dick. Cougars have the green light whenever they get a good shot. They will run it down. The runner will not fall for low, and away comes Tim Morris, but they no longer are required to shoot the ball with single digits on the shot clock, and that makes everybody work a little bit harder off the ball. Yeah, it's uh, it's amazing they can have the good blend uh, that they do with, there's another turnover, with, with you know, playing great defense, controlling the ball, but still being free to shoot when you're open. Rochester puts a move on more as he can step back and make that long shot. Now Quincy Pondexter on the floor for Washington. Weaver working on him, appeared to travel, but play on. Baines in the low post shooting over Wallace. Brockman's rebound. And Baines is very good at that shot. I thought Wallace did a nice job of keeping the body on him without the uh, Riding them for the foul. One of four is Washington from the floor to start this game. One of six for Washington State. These are teams that shoot 48 and 51 percent from the floor by average. Pondexter catching and letting it fly and missed everything a little bit too high. Rochester jumped. The ruling is that it was tipped out of bounds off the Huskies. Cougars basketball. When we come back, they're still in the field and out stage in Seattle. T'as vu nos jeunes visiteurs américains? Oui, euh, qu'est-ce qu'ils sont venus faire au Rwanda? Ah, ils viennent nous amener à l'accès à Internet dans nos villages et à mettre en place euh, intéressante pour notre coopérative de café. Comme ça, ce sera plus facile de vendre notre café dans le monde entier. C'est bien ça. Ils viennent d'où aux États-Unis? De l'Université de Washington State. Wow. Allez, les cours. Washington State University. Because the world needs big ideas. city tough and there's country tough you know you kind of have somewhat control over what's going on when you are riding bulls and uh, riding in a New York City cab you're just sitting in the back seat with no control at all I think I'd rather be on a bull than in the back of a cab This Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at More Furniture for Less, New Year's weekend special. Additional markdowns. Special purchase savings store-wide. Our guaranteed lowest prices ever, plus your choice of two flexible ways to finance interest-free. There's no down payment and no payments for 18 full months. Or finance interest-free until January 2013. Either one you choose, there's no interest. Three big days this New Year's weekend at More Furniture for Less. Brian Davis, Bob Weiss, and Brad Adam working the floor tonight here in Montlake. Brian, thank you very much. A man who coached both of these teams in his illustrious coaching career. We're talking about Marv Harshman. He won 246 games with the Huskies, 155 with the Cougs, honored today by the Huskies, finally letting players walk all over him because the North Court here at Heckett Pavilion renamed Marv Harshman Court. There was a pregame ceremony about an hour and a half ago, a very nice gala they had, food and drinks, a lot of ex-Huskies, a lot of luminaries on hand to honor Coach Harshman. Steve Haas, Detlef Shrimp, Christian Velp also in the house. All to honor Marv Harshman, Pac-10 Coach of the Year, a couple of years at National Coach of the Year once, and we asked him if he was felt special about this game, Brian, because of course he has great ties to both schools. He says no matter who wins, he can't lose. 
He likes those Oz. And I promise you, Brad, that this is the first and only time that players will be able to walk over Marv Harshman. Aaron Baines, the leading field goal percentage in the Pac-10 at 66%, but Baines is off to a tough start as he's been forced into a couple of difficult looks. But Marv Harshman started at what was then Pacific Lutheran College, went on to the Palouse. Baines knocking that pass away. Fine post-defense. Weaver in transition. Then Harshman to the Palouse and finally to Montlake. And, and he earned himself a spot in the Basketball Hall of Fame. Who knows if the tournament brackets would have been then like they are now. Rochester floating one down. Got himself away from the defender and knocks it down. But Harshman and company might have won a couple of national championships, Bob. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Hey, great uh, last time down for Washington State. Baines broke up another. It was a set lob play to Pondexter, but uh, he's been playing very well in that weak side defense. He's knocked two balls down for turnovers. Dentman is on the floor now. Justin Dentman playing point guard. Morris can't get this one to fall. Washington is a very good offensive rebounding team, but the Cougars have been making it very tough. And after Brockman fails to control, Derek Lowe starts the Cougars this away. Lowe and Weaver here, first team all Pac-10. We have literally seen Washington State grow up before our very eyes. And Weaver thought that Calgo would be just a step farther away. Marv Harshman grew up in Lake Stevens, Washington, before starting his journey, which actually is a football player to begin with, but with his son Dave, who has been a fixture in coaching circles in this region. Yeah, I've known Dave for years. Dave Harshman spent a little time sitting in the Weiss seat on FSN. Christian Felt is here tonight, as Brad mentioned. Calgill giving Brockman nothing off the side. Brockman, the strong effort to control the basketball, but off the second shot, here comes Calgill. Washington is still looking for its first points off a putback tonight. Well, here's a, I thought Calgill, what a, what a great job he did there, just keeping his body in front of uh, Brockman. And Lowe wasn't pretty, but Derek Lowe now has hit a couple of shots. Lowe is two out of five from the floor. And a lot of contact here lead. early both ways, and I thought the officials are doing a good job of, of making non-calls uh, when it's not really pertinent. Nice thread the needle play Pon Dexter to Brockman. Now David Homeling is on the floor for Washington State. Missed a couple of games after breaking his thumb in practice a couple of weeks ago. And, and that's the exact type of play you need out of Pon Dexter. He's got to be a creator and a scorer for this team if they're really going to do anything. Weaver, Rochester, Harmling, Lowe, and Calgill playing for the Cougars right